Keep up, Ravenpaw. You're holding us back. Sorry, Tiger Claw. I'm coming. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit tired. What did Tiger Claw say when he came out of the cave? He wanted to make sure we were still guarding the entrance. Why? Did you sense anything strange about him? The only thing that was strange was that damp old cave. He seemed a little edgy. He wasn't the only one. What do you mean? The fur on your neck stands up whenever you see Tiger Claw these days. You nearly jumped out of your skin when he came out of the cave. He just surprised me, that's all. You have to admit, it was a bit creepy by Mother Mouth. I suppose so. So, what's it like inside, Firepaw? Did you see the Moonstone? Yeah, I, I did. It, it was amazing. It was better than I imagined it would be. Look, it's a loner! This is Bali. He lives near this two-leg nest. I haven't seen any of your clan for some moons. How are you, Blue Star? I'm well. And you, Bali? How's the prey been running since we last passed this way? Not too bad. One good thing about living by two legs is that you'll always find plenty of rats nearby. You seem to be in more of a hurry than usual. Is everything all right? What? Um, yes. It's just that I don't like to be away from my clan for too long. As always, Blue Star, you are tied to your clan like a queen to her kids. I just wanted to warn you that there are two dogs that live near here now. They roam free at this time of night. You'd be safer cutting through the cornfield and stay one past the yard. We know about the dogs. We saw them earlier. Thank you for the warning, Bali. Until next time our paths cross. Goodbye. Have a safe journey. Come. We must continue home. You trust the word of that loner? Tiger Claw. Bali is a friend. I would trust him with my life. You can cut through the yard if you would rather face the dogs, but I am taking Bali's advice and going this way. Fine. Tiger Claw sure is in a mood. It smells like prey. What was that? No. Rats! Ow! Fight birds like fury! Firepaw! Spray them paw! Help! Yeah, take that, you eater! <laughs> There's no use in fighting. The rats will just keep coming. We have to get out of here. Arg! Get off! Ah, Fireball! Help! Oh, no. Ravenpaw! Oh. Come on, we've got to go. You two keep running. I'll hold them back. But, B Blue Star! Just go. Get to safety and I'll catch up. Don't worry about me. <sighs> Tiger Claw! Help! Blue Star, don't worry, I've got you. They're still coming. You three hold them off. Stupid rats! They're retreating. Oh no. Blue Star, are you okay? <clears throat> Barley, you've sent us into a trap. I, I, I didn't know the rats were here. 
I'm, I'm sorry. Why did you send us this way? The dogs. I, I didn't want them to... The dogs were tied up when we passed them earlier. The two-leg unties them at night. They guard his nest. Honest. It's Tiger Claw. Blue Star's injured. <sighs> Is there anything we can do? She's in the paws of Star Clan now. Is she dead? I don't know. We must wait and see. Star Clan, please send her back to us. <coughs> Blue Star. It's all right. I'm still here. I have lost a life, but it wasn't my last. Thanks, Star Clan. Right. Ravenpaw, fetch cobwebs for Blue Star's wounds. Graypaw, you should go find Marigold or Horsetail to keep the infection off. Barley, I think you've done enough damage for one day. I'm so sorry that this happened. I wish you all a quick recovery. Here. Thanks. Uh, should I put them on her wounds? You'll find show me how. Very well. If it had not been for Tiger Claw, those rats would have eaten me alive. I must remember to thank him. It wasn't Tiger Claw. It was... <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've seen you lose a life, Blue Star. How many have you lost now? That was my fifth. I have four lives remaining. Hmm. We should rest here while you recover. No. We must get back to camp as soon as possible. Let's keep going. Are you sure you're fit to travel? You just lost a life. I'll manage. <laughs> 